welcome back to my channel my name is Jessica and today's video is about products that I found in the month of February but I haven't had enough time to try them out yet although I am very excited so far as I've tried all of these for about a week and I'll just start with the health and skin related uh, products this last month has been kind of operation get my skin clear and just figure out what's going on with my health and one of the ways I decided to do that was to buy new skincare products and I bought some new face wash and moisturizer and I'm just not sure about it so I'm not going to talk about that however I did pick up a toner that most people will recognize it's the Thayer's witch hazel toner this is low on the toxicity rating if you look at your think dirty app and it says that you can use it all day long so it's not one of those that's so strong that you don't want to use it on your skin too much and since I wanted to start washing my face day and night with a simple routine and simple products I thought this one was a really good buy and it doesn't smell bad it actually feels pretty nice on my skin and I don't know yet if it's making a difference because I've really only used it a week. But I think I'm going to do a review video for my March favorites using the products I talk about in this video. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. Now since I have been on a mission to clear up my skin, I also picked up a dietary supplement called Collagen Peptides. This is really good for your hair, skin, and nails and it's a good protein source too. You put a scoop of it in your coffee and it'll dissolve and you won't taste it and it's a good way to get extra protein and also get some nutrients for your hair, skin, and nails. I picked up MCT oil. This is by the brand Sports Research. This product specifically was recommended by Katie from Wellness Mama. She does podcasts and has a website. This is a good source of healthy fats and I've been doing a lot of research about the keto diet and or keto lifestyle really and you need to have quite a bit of healthy fats in your diet, a moderate protein and then very low carbs. Most of your carbs will come from vegetables. You eat a lot of fresh vegetables, some fresh fruits and just healthy foods and I have been trying it for a few days and I've been having a hard time getting healthy fats into my diet or getting enough and this one is like I think it's like 14 grams of fat per tablespoon and you can have up to three tablespoons a day so I started using this also in my coffee it does make your coffee more thick but I think it's similar to the idea of bulletproof coffee when you add butter or coconut oil and it is a good way to get a healthy fat in without really having to just sit there and like eat a bunch of I don't know bacon or something um because you don't really notice it i have been liking it so far so we'll see how i like it after the month has passed another item i picked up that is skin related is a dry brush this is currently kind of wet because i just washed it how you use it is right before you shower you take the brush and you will brush your entire body in a motion towards your heart and you can repeat it i think it's like five to eight times in each section and it's supposed to stimulate uh, good circulation. And there haven't really been too many studies on the effects of dry brushing and uh, the benefits of it, but a lot of people claim that it helps reduce the look of cellulite. So because I'm on project mission health whatever right now, um, I decided to pick this up and just try as much as I could to improve the look of my skin and my hair and my nails and all that this month. The next item I have, I've been loving this month and it probably should have gone in my February favorites because I know it's a great product. It actually was a gift. It's not something I picked up, but I had to mention it. It is a book called Listog Listography. I can't... I I'm not even gonna try and say it. So it's full of all these lists and you fill it out based on what it says. For example, it says list your guilty pleasures on one page. So you write down everything that uh, you find as a guilty pleasure or there's list your biggest pet peeves, list the things you're glad you did and so on. And I really like this as a tool to get to know yourself, to reflect on your life and just to realize how good of a life you've had or just remember the good times in your life. So if you're feeling down or just kind of 
blah. I think this is a good tool to use to kind of pick yourself up. I used it when we were flying home and it took up two hours of my time. And it was just so fun to just look back on good memories. And there was a page <laughs> and it was like all your previous lovers or your past boyfriends or something. And my husband's sitting next to me and I'm like, I don't know, do I fill this one out? I mean, we're really open about it all, but I don't know. It just felt kind of weird. Um, but so also keep in mind anything you put in here someone could pick up and read but I don't really care now my last item I was really excited about when I bought it when I opened it up I was really excited it's very cute but I don't know how well it's made so I'll show you let's just get that out of the way it is a laptop bag I started working somewhere where I bring my laptop to work every day and I have a really big laptop and it's heavy. So I decided I would like a backpack rather than a purse just to help my shoulder a little bit. And so I found this on Amazon. It was like $33 and it's very cute. But like I said, I'm not sure about the quality. For example, there's a clip on the top that's supposed to hold these handles together and it, I mean, it clips, but it comes apart. That's a great example. And then the really weird thing, here, I'll scoot back a little really weird thing is the zipper. So you have um, a pretty gold zipper, which is great, but then it comes down here like this. It's just not easy to use. Um, and then it opens up and it's kind of square. You can see all my goodies in there. And it fits my laptop perfect. So I love that. It works. It's just the zipper. It's so tricky. So you have to like really tug here, pull that side really tug here and pull that side and I'm just not sure like if if this was really full I don't think it would work super great but like I said I would like to do a review video after using all these products for a month and we'll see how I like them oh before I finish uh, just real quick it does have this option where you can stick your phone here plug in your charger here and then here I'll practice with the zipper again then you can put your external battery charger here and link it all up so that you can charge your phone and keep it easily accessible right here, but then you don't have to get tangled up in too many cords and it just makes it a whole lot easier. That is a really nice feature. So I feel like if someone put a little bit more into the design of it, this could be a really great product. It probably would be more expensive though. So I guess you get what you pay for. All right, so those were all the products that I've picked up this past month or so, and I've been liking, but I haven't tried long enough to actually give an honest, like full review of them. And I will do that in my March favorites video, so stay tuned for that. Also, I will put my Instagram name here. It is also my Snapchat name if you wanna go follow me over there. I hope you liked this video. If you did, if you can give it a thumbs up, that would really support my channel. And don't forget to subscribe so you can see more videos like this. I hope you're having a good day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.